Hello, I'm Kim Tizer. Today is November 4th, 2022. Here are your latest church militant headlines. An Irish politician is demanding the church apologize for her moral teachings. Jesuit trained Bilderberg linked Foreign Affairs Minister Simon Coveney is calling on the Catholic Church to apologize for Father Sean Sheehy's homily earlier this week. The homily criticized the government's support of abortion and contraception, among other sins. Coveney's party, Fina Gale, is currently pushing so-called hate speech legislation, which would penalize public figures, including Catholic priests, for criticizing government policies. In Poland, the country's Catholic population is celebrating the saints. On All Saints Day, tens of thousands of Poles visited cemeteries to pray for their dead and honor the communion of saints, often laying chrysanthemums and lanterns by the graves. The tradition is an old one, and Polish Catholics even persisted during communist oppression. Every year, buses and public transport adjust their regular routes to shuttle the faithful population to pray at the cemeteries. A popular publisher is backing a conservative Catholic despite backlash. Over the past week, hundreds of workers in the publishing industry called on Penguin Random House not to publish U.S. Supreme Court Justice Amy Coney Barrett's new book. The letter criticized the Catholic justice's role in overturning Roe v. Wade. On Monday, Penguin responded, we remain fully committed to publishing authors who, like Justice Barrett, substantively shape today's most important conversations. Canada's leftist leader is taking heat for hypocritical comments on government overreach. Earlier this year, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau used the Emergencies Act to quash a peaceful protest against draconian COVID restrictions. Now he's criticizing a provincial premier for suspending back-to-work rights to counter a union strike. Using the notwithstanding clause to suspend workers' rights um, is wrong. The suspension of people's rights is something that you should only do in the most exceptional circumstances. In the UK, trans activists are blaming the media for giving them a bad name. On Wednesday, trans activist doctors claimed the quote, toxic media and political environment were responsible for closing down the Tavistock Clinic, which specialized in trans child mutilations. Tavistock's closure was announced in July after a government inquiry determined the clinic's pro-trans practices weren't quote, a safe option for children, noting therapists often rush children into onto hormone drugs with no psychiatric oversight. While trans activist Cry Wolf newly released numbers tell a different story. A report released last week shows trans child mutilation surgeries in the U.S. saw an almost 400% increase between 2016 and 2019. 1,130 chest surgeries were performed on minors. 98.6% of those were breast removal procedures for girls thinking they're boys. The report also estimates at least 300,000 American teens identify as trans. I'm Kim Tizer. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch the Vortex today where Michael calls out Arizona's bishops for attacking faithful Catholics. God bless you.